Hi guys, welcome to the short video about the Flow X. The idea of this video is to give you a quick, very quick tutorial in about five minutes so you understand the capabilities and how to do that of this really nice weather app because it's the best weather app on the market but not a lot of people are using it i think it's because it is or it seems to be too complicated for a lot of people but it is actually not so i'm trying to stay at around five minutes so let's start it right here on the left top you can select the location add places and remove places and you can buy uh, additional data if you need that and you can uh, add, change a little bit the settings like uh, text size and the units and other basic stuff here on the left side and then you have a big help which i really recommend which shows almost everything more in detail that than i do when we click on the location we can pick the model which we want to have depending on the subscription you have a little bit more or less available and then we have also on the right top we have some settings we can share refresh or edit the place which is really important we can depending on the subscription we can go uh, back and forth a little bit at maximum it allows you to go back three days to the past and 16 days into the future of course we can again select the model here and then we can yeah let's go back to the icons uh, below the map here we have these icons here on the map which you can select like rain cloud temperature wind and so on there are not all combinations allowed but we can select a lot of them and how to bring them here on the map that's on the right top where we go to edit place and so here we have all these icons here when we want to rearrange them we long click and we can move them up and down when we have, want to have more or less we click on the plus and activate or deactivate them here so let's go back to the map itself uh, yeah let's start with the graph on top of that here on top when we long click on them we can use the compare where we show the different models on the timeline for the same area or same locations really interesting to see which model has which forecast and see it on the same screen we also can edit the graph where we can pick i mean select or deselect like uh, data which we want to see on the graph and then underneath we have the map which is the biggest part of course we can zoom out and zoom in with two fingers of course when we keep the fingers on when we still use the two fingers and keep them on the same uh, distance we can move around the map doesn't matter if we have a large distance or we have a small distance of course usually with the small distance it works a little bit better now the yeah because i'm screen recording it has a little bit of problems but usually it shouldn't be a problem as you can see this here so the in the timeline you can move uh, you can swipe left and right and you can see it's going from left like from the past to the future that is pretty fast doing left right swipe on the map you can do this a little bit more precise and slow while moving up and down you can even do combination you can move up and then go left and right within the graph otherwise you can't do that within the graph same thing here at the bottom you can first go down and then left right okay and if you got a little bit lost in the time you can click here on the current time and it will go to the current time in the graph so that's already it for now to begin as a start and i think that's enough i will do more videos about that but i hope i have been able to help you a little bit with that anyway if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time